I remember hearing about Greg at ABCD camp. You know, people were comparing him to Bill Russell. And I mean, you don't get compared to Bill Russell when you're 17 years old. Here's Oden back in and doubled up the ducks. Oden having an outstanding ball game. In we had our schools that we both liked. He liked Michigan State, I liked North Carolina. Our last visit that we took was together at Ohio State. We sat there in the arena talking to Thad, uh, Mata, and, and kind of looked at each other and was like, uh, are we going to do this? Me and Mike decided to come to the Ohio State University. You want to go to Ohio State? He's like, if it's cool with you, you know, that's just how he is. This was a place that we both felt comfortable being at, a place where we know we can grow as young men. I wanted, you know, to bring a national championship here. Our expectations going into the tournament, we, we felt like we were a championship caliber team. The NCAA tournament, Xavier. I was sitting on the bench like, I'm about to have a spring break for the first time in my life. And then the overtime came and uh, Mike Conley, I think he got seven points to start the overtime. Me and him was watching the film after in the hotel and uh, just looking at him smile and actually seeing all that, that work and that emotion he put out there. We were giddy kids at the time, just enjoying it and being able to watch the film, it was just like, yeah, that, that really happened, man. I can't believe that happened and felt like we couldn't lose after that. We definitely knew how good Tennessee was. Rebound, Tennessee. Big rebound. I mostly remember my block shot at the end of the game. Ron Lou like screamed in my face afterwards. And I blocked that shot. My chin had hit the ground, and when it had hit the ground, it like cracked so many of my teeth and exposed so many of my cavities. We won the game, but I was like, yeah, I was at the dentist for the next five weeks. Ohio State wins it. His presence offensively and defensively, he changes the whole dynamic of a whole team. We're so used to having him there as an anchor. Ticket to Monday night's finals. Ohio State and Florida for the national championship. That national championship game, you know, we're all nervous, sitting in the locker room, and we're like, what's Coach Miser going to say to get us riled up? And then he walks in, he turns off the light, and he puts on this clip from Wedding Crashers. Damn you. I almost nunchucked you. You don't even realize. Ouch. I almost nunchucked you. That's what we watched before the national championship game. And then the game started, and I think our sense of urgency kind of kicked in a little bit too late. We threw a lot of bodies at him. The strength of our team was that we just could keep throwing bigs at him, and, and good ones too. Joe Kim Noah, Al Horford, those are the guys that I had to go up against. So, yeah, I definitely got tired that game. They definitely wore me out. That team was a great team, you know, two national championships. But uh, we need to tell the Florida fans that doing a gator chomp to an 18-year-old kid after he just lost the national championship is, I almost cried walking off that court right there. You know what, I would have probably been crying too. I'm happy we won though. I loved it here in Columbus, Ohio, but when the opportunity comes to be the number one draft pick, I, I think you got to take that. With the first pick in the 2007 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Greg Oden from Ohio State University. Stola gives Brooks the pick. Uh-oh, oh, Greg, Greg went down and, oh, his knee is... Holy cow, Portland doesn't need this. When I was an NBA player for those six years, I was rarely on the floor. Just with all those injuries I've had, I didn't feel like I, I did enough. I physically could not do it. It was like if I gave one good day of that hard work, the next three days I spent rehab and just trying to get my knees to feel good for me to sit down or walk down the stairs. And so much pain I was going through just to try to get myself to the level I wanted to be at. I think uh, bust is a tough term because his was injury driven, not skill driven. We all saw what he can do, and his, his athleticism, his ability. There's no bust about that. People call whatever they want to bust. In the context, 
compare it to some, I can see it that way too. And then some people get mad at me for saying that. It's like, don't talk that way about yourself. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, it's just a word. When I was deciding if I was gonna be done playing basketball, it was definitely a mental switch I had to make. A lot of watching old YouTube clips and, you know, crying by myself. I picked up the phone and, and called Coach Mata. It was actually the greatest thing I did. He was just like, come be around the program. Come be around the guys. Stay around basketball. Stay around, you know, just basketball minds. You know, keeping that open to give me a reason to wake up and just go to the gym, you know, to see people. When Big Fella told me he was going back to school to be a coach, get his degree, uh, I was happy. I was proud of him. So when I graduate, I want my spot to be right here. I'm going to graduate and finish my undergrad in May. No second guess. He ain't blocking you straight up. I want to go into coaching next. I really enjoy trying to figure out this new game of basketball. He's got so much to teach and so much to you know give these guys. I hope they enjoy having me here. I, I hope I'm telling them things that's gonna impact their lives on and off the court. And I hope they enjoy it as much as I do. What's up, you guys? It's Taylor Rooks with Bleacher Report. Make sure that you subscribe for more video content.